So not too long ago, this used to be my monitor, 4K running at 60 Hertz. But recently I've upgraded to this one right here, which is actually a 2K monitor, but we're running at a full 165 Hertz. So today we're gonna talk about what direction you should take for your monitor upgrade, resolution or refresh rate, what are the advantages and disadvantages, and objectively measured, which one should you go for? Let's go ahead and get into it. Now the big issue here is they're both roughly the same price. So a higher resolution monitor with a lower frame rate is gonna be around $200 to $330. And the range between a high refresh rate monitor and a lower resolution, say like 2K, is around 170 to 280. So am I gonna notice a lower resolution? So for me, I was going from a higher resolution 4K down to 2K. I do not get a benefit from seeing 4K and likely you don't either. I went ahead and linked it down below, but I'm gonna show it on the screen here. This is a graph showing when you actually gain the benefit of going to a higher resolution. Open up this graph and you'll see there are multiple values here that you're gonna to have to find and test yourself to find out what's the best scenario for you. First, you're gonna need the size of your monitor. For me, that's 27 inches and I think that's a pretty average size. Second thing you're gonna to need to do is kind of get a tape measure of some sort or roughly estimate how far away your eyes are from the screen on your average gaming session or viewing distance or editing, whatever you end up doing on your computer the most, how far away are you typically from it? For me, I tested it and I'm anywhere from two and a half to three feet. Now I say that difference because typically when I'm sitting upright and back in my seat, I'm about three feet from the monitor. But during gaming, people get intense, you kind of lose track of things and you lean in forward. And I found that if I am leaning in forward, that's more about two and a half feet. So I am a little closer to the monitor. But now that we have these two values, we can go on the graph and line them up. So the graph has an area between 25 and 30 inch monitors on the horizontal X axis. And then if you go up to about two and a half to three feet, you'll see I fall pretty well into the 2K category and I am not yet into the 4K. So that means for me, I am not gonna get much benefit from going to 4K. I, I, I'm just not gonna be able to see the difference from that far away from a monitor that big. But as you see, if I move my X axis over to a 30 inch monitor, so if I had upgraded my monitor to a larger monitor, so it's gonna be easier to see these pixels, if it is a 30 inch or higher monitor, I actually fall right into the 4K area now. As you get a larger monitor, it becomes more and more relevant to actually go to 4K. But I think for the majority of viewers here, an average monitor size for your setup is going to be more around mine to where you're gonna fall kind of near that line of, you barely gain the benefit of 4K. I would say if you are near or on the line between a 4K and a 2K monitor, I would say just save the money and go ahead and get a 2K monitor. Go ahead, use those numbers, plug them into the graph. If you have any problems, let me know, and that should be your solution. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, go ahead, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and help you out with any other questions you might have, or if you're still on the fence about which monitor to get. Check out my other videos if you haven't already, and get subscribed, as always. See you guys in the next video.